So today I'm going to the Mathematical Association of America's annual meeting for their metropolitan section in New York. And I got invited to the conference by uh, my current math teacher. And so I'm going with a whole bunch of other students in my class and in the class above me. And we're just going to like be her guest visitors to the MAA annual meeting, I guess. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I think it should be a lot of fun, but like, yeah, we'll just be like seeing the different student papers and stuff. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm here now at the meeting and we got a nice folder and I got my name tag. And so we just sat through or like, me and the other students that came from Web Institute, we just sat through in our lecture about uh, geometric uh, optimization. And like, so here's like the schedule. And we're going to be sitting through a couple other talks as well. And as you can see, it's hosted by Hofstra University. And so we're just sitting in the student center theater right now, just listening to the lectures. and. Yeah, right now it's a 10 minute break and I'm about to go back in to listen to another lecture about uh, gravitational stability, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, something, something about gravity, but yeah, it'll be interesting. And then after that, I'm pretty sure it's lunch and then there will be other talks as well. And there's also a math bowl going on, which is pretty interesting. So, yeah. I will uh, show a really neat example of how this kind of selection bias, you can actually, the forecaster can sometimes use it in their favor. It usually works against you because it, it, it introduces a bias, but not always. Okay, explore the boundaries of your confidence and doubt. Extrapolate, but not blindly. If different approaches yield the same answer, increase your confidence. And a kind of converse to that last one, beware of long So I just got back from the math conference and it was an interesting experience. It was like some of the talks that were given were really cool. And probably my favorite experience from the conference was the math bowl, where there were like questions and like I didn't realize this at first, but like as students we were allowed to participate. And uh I didn't win any prizes, but other students from my school, their team won a prize, which was like some calculators, some like TI-84 and a TI-Inspire cal graphing calculator. Uh, but yeah, so it was a fun experience. I really enjoyed the math conference. And hopefully you liked this very short video of just me going to the math conference. And yeah. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, see ya.